All right, hey there, we are back in the uh, rear uh, passenger side of the ML, ML 350. Um, uh, and uh, I don't know if this is going to be a video on YouTube or it's going to be just sent to my buddy, but the car's going to be detailed, so <laughs> FYI. Uh, so now we're talking about two passes here. So we got the top area is the uh, control uh, next to this nice body crease right here. I mean, this is like Man, really nice body crease. I'm not sure why it's there, but it really does. Well, it's probably there pretty much, but yeah, really, really nice. So, uh, I don't want to ruin the surprise here. Let's see, look, we got the uh, control. Um, conveniently located right next to the uh, area that I've polished twice, which is which is uh, generally this top to oh, that, right there. So, Let's see, there we go from here to here. It's really an improvement. And not just with hand polishing. Got uh, two coats, uh, we'll let it dry out. Uh, stay on the uh, wax for about 15, maybe 20 seconds uh, per like small area. You know, so we get the, the motion down, uh, especially if you know, with the military school and trying to use. That's uh, I'm really part of this as well. So, but you can see there are still slight webs. Um, so that is uh, evident that these scratches are a little bit deeper than than what I am going to uh, attempt with this car. Um, because it's just not really practical to, I mean, I don't have a, a polisher that's high enough quality to do this. Uh, I'd love to get one, but it's, it's a really, uh, Pretty ridiculous expense. You know, Six hundred dollar polisher. It's like why? Okay, so yeah, so here and boom. It's uh, quite an amazing transition. Uh, yeah, so we got the uh, spider web area, and just with two passes of polish. Keep in mind that there's no wax on this. There's no, there's no wax. There's no acrylic. There's nothing on here. This is just the raw paint that we're getting back to. Uh, Pretty good looking uh, polish. Yeah, that's the glass. It's not that clean. It's a clean glass, so a little comparison. I mean, this is the. Uh, there we go. That's. There's that big scratch right there. It's probably from someone door dinging the car. Must have been a big car, though, like maybe like an excursion or something massive. It can be a Range Rover. Who knows? See, then you get the transition going back down to the unpolished area. So that's unpolished. Keep in mind, this is just from people washing the car without the, um, you know, removing every single piece of debris from their uh, wash mitts. And uh, I'm sure I definitely uh, added a nice consistency to this with my uh, wool mitts. So uh, this just happens over time. That's no big deal. I guess up here, and then we can go. All the way, so you know, slowly. Yeah, then that's where it's pretty pristine right there. And if I, you know, put on, you know, two layers of wax and then acrylic, two layers of wax, two layers of acrylic, which is like an endless, uh, endless job. <laughs> uh, it's, you do not see these at all. But uh, yes, there's polished and then not polished. Polished. Not polished. Glass. Body. Glass. Yes. Anyway, so uh, that's uh, enough of that. Uh, go ahead. Do a third layer for this is just the test area, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go in there. So what I've done so far. Try not to kill the battery if I can. That's, that's always always a good idea. Oh yeah, here's the. Uh, Here's a good old uh, list here. 